Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you Introduction to Arithmetic Operators in C++. Once again, I repeat the topic Introduction to Arithmetic Operators in C++. Before getting into this topic, you should know what is mean by an expression. An expression is a combination of operators and operands to achieve a specific task. Once again, I repeat the definition. An expression is a combination of operators and operands to achieve a specific task. For example, we have an expression A plus B multiplied by C divided by D. In this expression where A, B, C and D are called as operands plus that is addition, multiplication and division are called as operators. We have some more example here. We can see a plus b, a minus b, a multiplied b, a divided by b, a mod b, a modulus b. Okay. So in this scenario where a and b are called as operands, and addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus are called as operators. So what is an operators? So operators are the symbols which are having special meaning. We can't able to change the meaning. So what is an operators? Operators are the symbols which are having the special meaning. We can't able to change the meaning. So if an operators need two operands, then it is called as binary operators. Okay. If an operator, if an operator wants to work, if that operator is in need of two operands, then we can call the operators as binary operator. By means two. Nari means numbers. Okay, so if the operator wants to work, the operator is in need of two numbers or two operands, hence the name binary operators. On other hand, we have an operators need only one operand, then it is called as unary, means only one number or one operand. Okay, so there are two types of arithmetic operators are there, one is binary operators, other one is unary operators. So what is an arithmetic operator? Arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus. Once again, what is arithmetic operators? Arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus. So we can be able to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus using arithmetic operators. So here is a table where we can see the operators and operator name, examples and expression. We are well aware of arithmetic operators, right? Addition, if you want to add two numbers, you can use addition. For subtraction, if you want to subtract two numbers, you can use subtraction. And to multiply two numbers or more than two numbers, we can use multiplication and division. To divide a number and modulus if you want wish to find the remainder of a number you can use modulus again addition if you want to add two or more numbers you can use addition if you want to subtract two or more numbers you can use subtraction if you want to multiply two or more numbers you can use multiplication and if you want to divide two or more numbers you can use division and if you want to find out the modulus of a number you can use more that is a reminder Okay, I think this this table is very clear, right? So here is an example a plus b, a minus b, how to use this operators. To use this operators, we, we are in need of two operands, see? And we are in need of two numbers, okay? So that is the arithmetic operator. An arithmetic operator can be divided into two. One is binary operator, other hand you have unary operator. What is binary operators? Binary operators are the operators these operators are in need of two operands or two numbers. If this binary operators wants to work, this binary operators are in need of two operands or numbers. Since it is by means two. Unary means the unary operators are the operators which are in need of only one operand or one number. Okay, so by means two and unary means one. So example for binary operator plus addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus. If 
you wish to use any of these operators, you are in need of at least two numbers. Then only you can able to use addition or subtraction or multiplication or division. Using a single number, you cannot be able to use these operators. On the other hand, you have unity operators, plus plus and minus minus. You can use only one operand, that is A plus plus or B plus plus or C plus plus. We are in need of only one operand or one number. It is called as unary operator. The unary operator is further classified into two types. One is increment, the other one is decrement operators. So what is an increment operator and what is a decrement operator? So increment operator is nothing but plus plus. You are going to increment by one. And decrement operator is nothing but minus minus. You are going to minus by one. You are going to subtract one. It is called as decrement operator. Increment means you are going to add one and decrement means you are going to subtract one okay again the increment and decrement operators can be further classified into pre-increment and decrement operators and post increment and decrement operators once again the increment and decrement operators can be further classified can be divided into two types pre increment and decrement operators other one is post increment and decrement operators example plus plus e minus minus e this is an example for pre-increment and minus minus e is an example for pre-decrement so next on other hand we have post increment that is a plus plus is an example for post increment and a minus minus is an example for post decrement operators okay so what is pre-increment and what is post increment so pre-increment is nothing but before assigning the value to the variable, the value is incremented by 1. Okay, plus plus e. First, it will get incremented by 1 and then it will be assigned to a variable. That is called as pre-increment. First increment and then assign to a variable. And next, on the other hand, we have post-increment. After assigning the value to the variable, the value is incremented by 1. So, first assign the value and then increment by 1. So a plus plus here plus plus a first do the increment and then assign the value first assign the value and do the increment there's a difference between pre and post increment once again what is pre increment before assigning the value to the variable the value is incremented by one right so first the value will get incremented by one and then we are going to assign the value post increment after assigning the value to the variable, the value is incremented by 1. Means, first you are going to assign the value and then you are going to increment by 1. So, here we can see an example for pre-increment and post-increment. Here we have declared a variable of integer data type a equal to 10. And we have declared one more variable called as b. And next step, we are going to assign a, that is plus plus a to b. We are going to display a and b values. So tell me what is the answer now plus plus a plus plus a means the value a is incremented by 1 so now b equal to 11 and a equal to 11 we'll check the answer yes a and b is equal to 11 on other hand we have post increment so the same example we have a variable called as a of integer data type a equal to 10 we have declared one more variable called as b now b equal to a plus plus so what is the definition first it will assign the value what is the value of a 10 so b equal to 10 will be assigned then a will be incremented by 1 so a value will be 11 and b value will be 10 see so here again in this scenario first it will get incremented plus plus a so first the increment will be done that is a equal to 10 plus plus means 10 plus 1 11 11 will be stored to B and A will be incremented by 1. So, A and B both are equal to 11. But in this case, A equal to 10 and B equal to A plus plus. So, first, the A value will be assigned to B. What is A value? 10. And then A will be incremented by 1. So, 11. So, then we have pre-decrement. Minus, minus A and post-decrement A minus minus. Same. Before assigning the value to a variable, the value is decremented by 1. 
okay so if you are going to assign a value that is uh, if you are using the pre decrement first it will get decremented by 1 and then the value will be stored to a variable and post decrement after assigning the value to the variable the value is decremented by 1 right first the value will be assigned to variable and then it will be getting decremented by 1 it will be subtracted by minus 1 post decrement after assigning the value to a variable the value is decremented by 1 if you are using a minus minus the value a will be assigned if you are using a minus minus the value will be assigned to a variable and then it will be uh, decremented by 1 and here is an example again integer a equal to 10 and next step we are going to declare b and next step so it is an example for pre decrement and post decrement in this example we have declared two variables called as a equal to 10 and b next step we are going to assign b equal to minus minus a what it means first it will be decremented by 1 then 10 minus 1 9 so b equal to 9 and a equal to 9 if you display the value of a and b you will be getting the value a and b both are equal to 9 we can check the answer now on other hand we have integer a equal to 10 and we have declared one more variable b and then we assign b equal to a minus minus means the value of a will be assigned to b that is 10 and then a will be decremented by 1 that is 10 minus 1 9 so a value is 9 and b value is 10 you can see okay so any queries please let me know through commands i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video